I picked up this coffee table for free from a yard sale leftovers the other day and I'm getting ready to refinish it so I'm gonna sand this down and we're gonna refinish it and I'm really excited to show you guys what it's gonna look like after it's done thanks for watching I'm using some 80 grit sandpaper here on my sander and I'm just gonna take off this top layer of the stain and all this gunk on it and get down to the real wood here. I flipped this over, I've sanded the whole top, and I'm gonna go ahead and take off all of the legs just for an easier sanding here. Get a good job. I'm going to take these all off, sand these all down individually, and then we'll be in a good position. Put it all back together after painting it. Thankfully, these all wasn't sure how well that was gonna work, but they did, pretty good. So now that I've sanded this down fairly well, I've noticed on the bottom, there's a few like dents and nicks that are just a little bit bigger than I would like to have. So I'm gonna take some of this and my spatula and I am going to fill those in here. Uh, so like, it's a little harder to see, but you can see right here. There's one of the larger ones, so I'm just gonna take this and just fill these in, just for a little bit nicer look. So this comes out pink, and as it dries, it'll actually turn white, so you will be able to tell pretty easily if it's dry or not, if it's ready. And this one tube of this actually lasts me quite a long time, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna go over this and I'm actually intentionally leaving extra on just to make sure that when it dries, it fills the cracks well. And then once it's all the way dry, I'm just gonna gently sand back over that. And while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and sand the legs. All right, I've got all my legs sanded down, and now I'm going to take some sandpaper. For this, I'm gonna use a 220 grit, and I'm just gonna gently go over the spots that I fixed. This does not take a lot of pressure on this, so I'm just going really light, and that's why I'm using a higher grit sandpaper. And I'm just gonna sand until it's even with the rest of the surface. All right, and that is actually pretty. Well. All right, that's pretty good now. My next step is I'm going to take this gray chalk paint, and I've already went ahead and put the tape on my edges. So I'm going to shake this paint up and then I'm going to go ahead and start painting here. So I finished painting that, 
and let it dry, sand it out a little bit, and I put the legs back on. And now I'm gonna go over it with a clear coat just to kind of seal everything in. Here's the final piece. If you have an idea for something we should refinish, leave it in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel for more crafting tips and tricks. Thanks for watching Deb's Joyful Designs!